going on people hope y'all are doing fantastic so let me tell you all this story uh last summer i uh what did i do man i lost the train of thought oh okay i got a lottery ticket somebody gave me a lottery ticket right so i scratched this thing off and i went 500 bucks so i thought so i take it home and i show my wife hey look i got a lottery ticket and I won uh, 500 bucks. She's like, oh, really? So, yeah, here, check it out. So she's looking at it, and she's like, no, 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 that's 700. Oh, shoot, I'll take it. Give me the 700, right? So the following day, I go to the, to, uh, the uh, one of the convenience stores and uh, hand her the ticket. So, yeah, I won 700 on the scratch-off. She's looking at it. She's like, nope. It's not 700. That's a thousand. Oh, shoot. Hallelujah. I'll take it. Um, so she gives me the check and I leave. I go to the bank, cash it. I go over to, uh, I'm, I leave the bank and I go straight to the, uh, um, the truck garage where I get work done. Now I take care of my bill over there. It was like 500 bucks, something like that. Take care of that. And, um, I just bought some stuff around the house that we needed, uh, with the, the rest of the money. And, uh, but I said all that to say, now in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh man, I want this thousand dollars. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. How is this going to be taxed? So I'm on the computer. Okay. Pennsylvania has a 3.07 state tax. And then the, on the federal level is taxes income. So whatever my income level is, what I show on paper, uh, that's what I get taxed at. All right, we can handle that. So just to be safe, I'm like, all right, how am I going to reduce this bill? Just so I don't have to pay anything on that, right? So doing a little research. So I said, oh, okay. Gambling earnings, if you can't, you can deduct, let's say I won $1,000, I can duck, deduct up to $1,000 worth of lottery winnings. But I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars worth of uh, a scratch off lottery tickets, right? So what does brother man do? Brother man goes and digs through the trash to get other scratch offs that was, you know, scratched off by other people to reduce my expenses, right? So my wife will tell you a true story, and if you ever get to meet her one day, you know she'll tell you <laughs> this dude's off the chain. Um, so we're sitting at the uh, there's a little pizza shop, and it's not even a pizza, a little uh, country store out where I live at, out in the middle of the country. So we're sitting there in the car and I'm looking in the trash can. I was like, look, somebody just threw, threw a whole bunch of lottery scratch off tickets out there. So what's brother man do? I hop right on out the car and I'm reaching all up in the trash, pulling out these lottery tickets. People looking at me, hey, I don't care. Look all you want. So I got the uh, stuff over there in the file. So, right. So I said all that to say, I don't care nothing about the system. I mean, I have to be in it, I have to operate in it and everything, but I don't care nothing about the system. And this is going to piss some people off. Donald Trump doesn't care anything about the system. And if he were in my situation, I can guarantee you he would do the same thing because he uses the system. He finds every loophole that he can. Uh, let me say that he finds every loophole that he can utilize at that time and he uses it same with me um now am i at donald trump's level no will i ever get there uh doubt it um is it that's i don't think i would be comfortable with all that stuff going on as far as the, the business part or even the uh the president now nah, i'm cool man i'm cool just being a brother man you know what i'm saying but uh, he uses the system. So, hold on, let me, let me, let me back up. I'm not advising anybody to go out and play the lottery. I got to say that because some people will hear one thing, miss the whole story, hear one thing, and then they off to the races. They like, oh, shoot, brother man be playing the lottery. Man, I would be playing the lottery too. Shoot. Yeah. Nah, nah, don't, I ain't, I'm not advising that. You know, people hear that one thing, they gone. But um, back to the story. So, you know, Donald Trump uses, 
And he'll tell you that he uses the system. He uses the system to his, his advantage. And that's the same way with, you know, I speak about, you know, the business credit, um, uh, uh, the corporation, you know, setting up your business and so on and so forth. Um, so it's not, you know, that I'm trying to give people incorrect information. It's just that there's a lot of, I don't put everything out there. I just put enough out there to maybe, Hey, somebody can go out there do their own research and come to the conclusion. Oh, I see what he's talking about now. Um, with the business credit, you know, I'm not tell telling everybody go out, go out and get yourself into a bunch of debt. I'm just saying that, you know, if you build a credit file starting, um, from the beginning, maybe in a couple of years, you know, you're, you're slowly building it, right? You're not really trying to overextend yourself. You're not overextending yourself at all. You just, you're just building your credit file because somewhere down the road, you may want to sell your business and you got this robust credit file to go along with it. Right. Or maybe you have this robust credit file down the road and this trucking company comes up for business and you got enough, uh, uh, what's not, I don't want to say capital, but you have enough resources available to you to purchase that trucking company if you want to. So, I mean, I know a lot of this stuff is see y'all don't know me It's it seems like it's a uh, surface level stuff, but I mean, it's, there's different intents behind it, you know, to where, you know, I put this stuff out, okay, go do your research, go on. Um, so that's all I'm trying to say, but I know I probably made some of y'all mad with the Donald Trump comment, you know, uh, the president of the United States, you know, let me, my own speech about Donald Trump, right? I mean, if he lowers the taxes to 15% for business and personal, cool. If he doesn't, I'm still good because as a business owner, you need to know, it's not a suggestion. You need to know what you can deduct and what you can't deduct, so on and so forth. So Donald Trump knows that he knows what he can deduct. He knows what he can do. He knows what he can't do. And I'm sure some of his stuff is questionable, but Hey, who am I? Um, that's all for this video. So if I put something out there, do your research. It's not my intent to get people all jacked up without um, understanding the process. It's just, I'm putting this stuff out there, but at surface level, and it's up to you to figure out if it will work for you at this time or not. Because business credit it may not be your time you may you know want to wait a couple of years you know before you venture into that that's fine but other people they're like oh i see where this guy's going and you know in a couple of years you know this is where i want to be and i think this is the key that i need right now to get there where i'm going to go so um y'all have a good one we'll see you on the next one